Thanks, Jeff. City employees in Portsmouth could be getting a $1,000 bonus just in time for the holidays. City Council is set to vote on the idea tonight because it has a surplus in the general fund. But just a few months ago, Council voted against making room in its budget to raise teacher salaries. 13 News Now reporter Evan Watson is live at City Hall ahead of tonight's meeting. Evan. Yes, tonight Portsmouth City Council will vote on giving $1.9 million to city employees in the form of a holiday bonus. But just back in May, Council voted on that same amount, $1.9 million, and decided not to provide it to the school system in the form of 2% raises for teachers. And that is causing a few people to ask questions tonight. Portsmouth City Council member Lisa Lucas Burke is expecting unanimous approval. I don't think anybody will have a problem with this, so we should have our 6 0 vote tonight. As council wants to give more than a thousand City of Portsmouth employees $1,000 bonuses from extra money in the city's general fund. The employees right there before the holidays are going to appreciate this additional uh, funding, which will help them to, you know, do some great things for their families. But earlier this year, School, school supporters protested the city for this money for raises. So why is it available now when it wasn't available then? A bonus is something that's just a one time thing, you know, so um, if we had funds to be able to give our school employees a one time bonus, we would definitely be on board with that too. But a raise is something you have to fund year after year after year after year. And we just weren't sure if we would be able to generate or to be able to find, you know, the 1.9 million for years down the line. Lucas Burke says this extra general fund money was unexpected and she says the council thought to give this money to city employees, not school employees. It never came up um, in the conversation and as me being the liaison to the school board, you know, that's one of the things that we can put on the table. Portsmouth Public Schools did eventually give teachers and staff a 2% raise after city council did not provide the requested money. The raises were mostly paid for by new sales tax revenue and by cutting a few teacher positions. City Council did approve close to $400,000 for security upgrades. Lucas Burke says she's now thinking about budgeting for teacher bonuses next year. If we're not able to give raises uh, continuously throughout the years, I would definitely be on board with setting aside some funds for them to get a bonus as well. Some Portsmouth teachers tell me they find the situation to be both ironic and a little disappointing. But Lucas Burke points out that she's excited to reward city employees who have worked hard all year long. In Portsmouth, Evan Watson, 13 News Now.